Assalamu alaikum viewers please like share and subscribe this channel links of pdf files used in this video are given in description so today is the part 2 of the lecture series about solid phase extraction and in this particular lecture we shall see how many types of solid phase extractions are normally used in analytical field of chemistry as we have seen in the previous lecture that there are various types of solid phase extraction such as adsorption, ion exchange and mixed mode. In mixed mode there is combination of all types of uh, procedures like uh, adsorption and ion exchange. Now this adsorption is further divided into normal and reverse type. Similarly ion exchange is divided into cation and anion type. So in today's lecture we will briefly discuss all these types. So first of all we will discuss the adsorption phenomena and then in this we will discuss about reverse phase adsorption solid phase extraction. So reverse phase solid phase extraction techniques are optimal for analytes with moderate to low polarity and separate analytes based on their hydrophobicity with the most polar compounds eluting first. Because many analysis involves analytes dissolved in an aqueous sample, for example, surface waters, waste water, urine, or plasma. So, SPE using reverse phase sorbents are commonly employed. So, if we see here, this is an example in which reverse phase SPE has been uh, applied. So, this is our mixture, which is a Kool Aid compound, which is providing different types of dyes. So if we see here that uh, in the first uh, fraction we obtain a clear water uh, as the analyte is polar whereas in fraction 2 we get pure red color in uh, next we get pure blue color and then we get non-polar analyte. So all these things are mixed together in this Kool-Aid packet. So if we see here, uh, there is 8% IPA and there is 35% IPA and there is 70% IPA. So it means as the concentration of uh, organic compounds or non-color compounds is increasing, so they are eluting at the last, whereas the most polar compound is eluted first. So if we see here that the purple color hmm, is mainly the mixture of blue and red color. So this packet contains a dye of purple color. So it has two types of further dye. So we will separate these. So the process of separating the red and blue dyes within the purple cool aid sample will start by loading an aliquot of sample onto a reverse phase cartridge that has been preconditioned with water so the first fraction uh, collected will contain mostly the water and compounds of high polarity and the dye will retained in the adsorbent rinse steps with increasing concentration of ipa or isopropyl alcohol which is eight percent uh, in the second fraction then it is 35 percent in third fraction uh, the reason is that uh, the red color is less polar so it has been eluted with 8% isopropyl alcohol whereas the blue color is more organic in nature so it is eluted with 35% of isopropyl alcohol and at the last we have increased the 70% concentration of isopropyl alcohol to remove any purely organic or non-polar species that are present in the sample normal phase Adsorption type of solid phase extraction are commonly used when the analytes of interest has low to high polarity or it's neutral. So the cartridge contains a polar adsorbent such as silica and this separation will be based on polarity with the least polar components eluting first. So the sample is usually in a non-aqueous matrix for example. A researcher wishes to determine the concentration of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons or PAH in coffee samples. So many PAH compounds are carcinogenic and can be introduced during the roasting process. So uh, by using the normal phase adsorption you know, solid phase extraction, we can extract PAH from the mixture and these can be analyzed further. So if we see here a typical structure of 
a polyaromatic hydrocarbon benzo k fluoranthine and this compound is actually a carcinogenic in nature so in order to analyze this compound the sample is loaded on the sp cartridge the pah are returned onto the stationary phase next the solvent is changed and the pah are eluted from the cartridge so this is the uh, example of uh, using the procedure of normal phase adsorption solid phase extraction in ion exchange spe the compounds are separated based on the on the positive or negative charge so if we see here there are two types of ion exchange procedures which are used in spe which is cation exchange and anion exchange uh, we would select cation exchange because the analyte we wish to retain is cationic and if we want to select anion exchange so it will be choose on the basis of that if the nature of the analyte is anionic so uh, the same steps uh, are involved first step is the uh, conditioning step then there is the washing step and then there is the elution step in a perfect example of bind and elute spe only the analyte of interest would be retained while all interference species will be rinsed off leaving a pure concentrated sample with little to no loss unfortunately this scenario is unlikely with the use of a single spe cartridge so many times conditions strong enough to remove impurities will also remove some analyte reducing the recovery so mixed mode spe is used in that case uh, where we have to en enhance the analyte retention and or to reduce the matrix impurity contamination so mixed mode spe contains the capabilities of ion exchange and reverse phase spe for an enhanced separation example of mixed mode spe include reverse phase strong cation exchange reverse phase strong anion exchange reverse phase weak cation exchange and reverse phase weak anion exchange type the ion exchange component of the cartridge allows the appropriately charged compounds to be retained for further extraction once the appropriately charged compounds are retained the spe can be rinsed to remove any impurities the ph of the eluent can then be adjusted to reduce the charge on the analyte molecules which will release them from ion exchange component of the cartridge causing them to elute the mixed mode spe system also offers a reverse phase mechanism this will allow you to change the organic concentration of the eluent to achieve improved selective elution mixed mode is commonly used in the separation of basic acidic and neutral compounds in a mixture so this is widely used in the concentration purification and analysis of pharmaceutical compounds and antibacterial agents found in wastewater so a summary of different spe modes has been uh, explained in this diagram so if we say here the first column is of mode in which we using uh, reverse phase mode and normal phase mode so in reverse phase mode these are the adsorbents which are mainly commonly used whereas in normal phase mode the polar adsorbents are used so in the next column we have written the retention mechanisms in the reverse phase the retention mechanism non polar or hydrophobic interactions whereas in normal uh, phase the retention mechanism is polar interactions so uh, in the next figure in the column we have explained the sample matrix uh, which is in case of reverse phase mostly aqueous samples whereas in normal phase these are the non polar samples what are the uh, analyte properties for reverse phase so these are explained here and for normal phase the analyte properties are explained or summarized here so uh, in the next column the elution schemes have been explained and in the last column the applications of both reverse phase and normal phase solid phase extraction have been given uh, in this diagram actually the ion exchange mode has been explained and most commonly we are using quaternary amine as uh, anions and whereas sulfonic acids as cation adsorbents the mechanism of reduction is retention is of course lactostatic attraction between the two things the sample matrix are actually the aqueous or organic samples of low 
molar concentrations similarly the uh, analyte properties should be that they have some ions next page hmm, uh, sorry next column is explaining the elution schemes whereas the examples are hmm, in which we are using ion exchange solid phase extraction are such as pharmaceutical compound fatty acid removals synthetic reaction organic acids etc so this was all about solid phase extraction uh, and in this particular lecture we have discussed all its types in a brief manner if you have any question let me know in the comments i will respond as soon as possible okay thank you allah hafiz